Lives of Our Saints. This coming Wednesday, our church celebrates the Feast of St. Avergeos. The following are some thoughts of his life and works. We learn from the church fathers that Avergeos was bishop of Eropolis in Asia Minor during the 2nd century, 186 AD. Avergeos was gifted, gifted with great wisdom and compassion. He was the most beloved spiritual leader in all the land. During his fifth year as bishop of Eropolis, the pagans of the area built a magnificent marble temple in honor of the Grecian god Apollo. Our blessed Lord appeared to Avergeos in a vision and told him to destroy the temple of Apollo. The pagans had maintained that the god of the Christians could never destroy the power of the god Apollo nor his temple. Avergeos did as he was told. The Lord had commanded him to destroy the temple with his own hands and that God would give him the strength to carry out his divine command. Avergeos entered the temple and within a few minutes as he reached out his hands to grasp at the pillars, the temple was in ruins. With overpowering powering and miraculous strength, Avergeos toppled the pillars like ten pins and the beautiful temple of Apollo was in ruins. The pagans of the area, 500 strong, vowed to hang Avergeos from the steeple of the, of the church. As they approached his residence in Eropolis, Avergeos waited for them on the steps of his cathedral. Suddenly, three young men appeared in front of the enraged mob. They were the three possessed of demons and frothing at the mouth. They withered on the ground and uttered phrases no one could understand. Avergeos commanded the demons to come out of the young man, and they were immediately cured. The 500 enraged pagans became as little children as they saw the miracle which took place before them. They remained in the courtyard all night as prayer services were conducted by Avergeos, proclaiming the glory and majesty of Almighty God. All 500 pagans were converted and baptized the following morning. During the next 10 years, the fame of Bishop Avergeos spread throughout the Roman Empire. People from the far corners of the world came to be healed of their illnesses. Many with true faith were healed by Avergeos. And for the first time in the short history of the church, he was proclaimed an apostles, equal to apostles, by the father of the church. In addition to his miraculous powers given to him by the Lord, Avergeos was also a most eloquent preacher, and thousands came regularly to hear his words of wisdom and faith. The emperor of Rome, Marcus Antonius, and his wife Faustina also heard of the miraculous powers of Bishop Avergeos. Their 16-year-old daughter was suffering from a strange sickness, and no physician of the Roman emperor could heal her. Avergeos was asked to come to Rome and heal the young daughter of the emperor. Bishop Avergeos came to Rome, and after many hours of prayer at the bedside of the young princess, she became completely cured of her illness. Bishop Avergeos refused material reward and asked only that his people in Asia Minor be given grain and other foods to help them because of the famine in that area. Bishop Avergeos left Rome and went to to the Middle East where he continued his mission of for Christ. He predicted the days of his death October the 22nd and he prepared his burial place in Eropolis. Avergeos died at the age of 72 after a lifetime of dedication to Christ. <laughs>